G'day Dragons fans and welcome to the Mad Dragons Vodcast player previews as they continue through the month of January. We are another player down. We are another day closer to the start of the 2022 season. Let me hear you roar Dragons fans. You're going to love this one. This is one of your favourites. It's one of my favourites. It's Zach Lomax! The Gifted One. This is a label Lomax has carried since 2018. And it's fair to say he has shown glimpses of the brilliance that earned him this moniker from Blues coach Brad Fittler. But he hasn't been able to show the consistency required to earn himself representative honours. Initially, his career was hampered by Paul McGregor playing him in a different position every week. But he's been our first choice centre since early 2020 and it's time for him to explode in 2022. Lomax was restricted to just 12 games in 2021 due to injury and suspension, scoring four tries and setting three up, as well as kicking 35 goals at 78% success rate. Now, Zach Lomax is my favourite player. I think he's got the skills to be the best centre in the world. But I'd love for him to spend a little bit of time watching Tommy Turbo's performance in the centres in Origin 1 last year. I think this is the blueprint that Lomax should be looking to follow. A roving commission where he isn't tied to one side of the field and can be a threat anywhere on the park. He can create opportunities on the left, the right, or in the middle. He should be aiming to get 150 plus run metres per game. But in 2021, he was almost half that. He is good enough to become not just a very good player, not just a state of origin player, not just an international player. Zach Lomax is good enough to be a genuine superstar of the game. No centre has won the Dalian medal since Steve Rogers in 1981. That is how good I think Zach Lomax can be. So that's my opinion. That's what I think of Zach Lomax. Now it's down to you, the Dragons fans, to let us know what's your opinion of Zach Lomax. Get down in the comments. Let us know where you think he's going to be in 2022. How do you think he's going to play? I think it's going to be a massive season. Maybe you agree. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you think he's just an NRL player. His, his form's going to plateau, and he's as good as he's ever going to be. He can't possibly improve. Now, we're all entitled to our opinions. Uh, make sure you get sharing the Mad Dragons vodcast around. Let your mates know about the Mad Dragons vodcast. Share it to your own personal pages. Uh, we've got to get the Mad Dragons vodcast out there and get a bigger following uh, before the season kicks off in 2022. Remember, we're across all social media platforms on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on YouTube. Like, share, follow. Do all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with a, with a really big one. Moses Mbai, a, uh, a new Dragon signing, and uh, plenty of Dragons fans with a lot of questions as to what his role is going to be in 2022. I'll let you know my opinion tomorrow. Go the Dragon! Dragon! Dragon!